hey guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to do an in-depth tutorial on how to do dark skin tones especially my process when i'm working on drawings whether it's more cartoonish or more realistic so if you guys would like to see the end product make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video now the reason that you don't start off with the darkest color or your spear is because we all have mid tones and then we have our deep tones and then we have our highlights. So I start off with like a nice chocolate mid tone and then I either take a blue or a purple and I go in and either multiply or soft light. I basically just play around until I find a layer setting that does what I need it to do. In this video, I used soft light for this specific spear and I used dark blue to basically go in with that shadow. Now, the brush that I'm using, it's very watery, it's very liquidy, so it moves around the color to where I need it to be on the spear. That's important to me because when I want the subtle shadow, I am able to go in and add it where I need to, but I can also concentrate that color back to the deeper areas and create that rich, deep tone that I'm looking for. One thing I can say about creating shadows for any person of color, if you're not sure about lighting, go as gradual as you need to. Take your time, build up the shadows because once you figure out how you want your lighting to be and please find references, I promise you they'll be your best friend because once you see how deep and dark the shadows is in for your reference, you'll know how deep you need to go for your person, your character or whatever it is that you're trying to create. When it comes to the highlight, I try and do two different kinds of highlights. So I'll do a more cooler highlight using luminosity just to bring more um, dimension to the spear. And then I add a secondary highlight. That's the actual color reflection from whatever the light source is. So you're going to see me use luminosity and either a pale yellow or a pale blue. In my opinion, it doesn't really matter what the color is in luminosity. It's a slight difference but when you use the layer add that's when you really start to see the color of the highlight that you're trying to do now here is where you'll start to see me actually implement a color highlight now if you look at how the spear was before it was a regular schmegler smear you can tell that there was a highlight you can tell that there was a shadow but when you add that secondary highlight it just does something for me and it's what really helped me make dark skin tones pop when I'm drawing so if you want to have more dimension and you're trying to draw but your skin is looking flat try and make deeper shadows and try and make more vibrant highlights that might be the key that will help you because when I started doing that, that's what really helped me and that's what really helped me get going in this whole digital art game of creating people of color. So for the next part of this video, the second sphere I'm going to do right underneath, I'm going to keep that blue shadow, but this time I'm going to work towards cooler complexions because we all come in very different shades. Some of us have olive complexions, some of us have more red complexions, and some dark skinned individuals have more warm skin tones and some have more cool skin tones. So depending on the lighting, depending on who you're trying to draw, your highlight color would be different. So instead of doing a light yellow, this time I did a light blue. So there's warm on top and cool on the bottom, and you guys are seeing me struggle to try and write it out. So yeah. On the right side of the screen, you're going to see me use purple instead of blue for the shadows. And for me, it really isn't much of a difference, but to you guys, it might be. So I just decided to do both and put them right next to each other so you guys can see for yourselves. And another thing that I wanted to mention, when you're doing uh, drawings and you're trying to make it look realistic, textured brushes will be your best friend. Now, 
some of you guys are trying to find free brushes online and that's great but for some of this I actually created my own brushes I just kept um, stippling the screen and then I turned it to a brush and then that'll help me blend it out to where I want it to be other packs I found online in which the artists were doing it to where you could like name your price and you could pay them for whatever you think the pack is worth or it was like five dollars one dollar my point being you don't need expensive packs to make your art look good it's all about technique you could buy a thousand kazillion brushes but if you don't know how to use them then they're kind of useless so before you guys spend your coins trying to buy all of these different brushes like how I did when I first started try and get the technique down because the technique is what's going to help you guys take your art to the next level so that would be my word of advice so I've talked a lot in this video more than I think I've done in any other video I just wanted to make sure that you guys really got what I was talking about and for this drawing, I want you guys to see the full process. You guys want to see me click around, change back and forth between brushes, the whole nine. All I did was speed it up because this original clip is like an hour worth of drawing. And I think I condensed it into like seven, eight minutes. So that's why it's super sped up. If you see anything glitchy, I apologize for that. But for the most part, I just want you guys to see the process. It's all in just zooming out, zooming back in, adding a little like pizzazz here, add a little bit more here, erase a little bit there. Um, I like to jump around back and forth because once I start getting frustrated with one thing, I'll calm myself down by moving on and then when I get back to what frustrated me, I'm like, oh, I should have just did this and then I do it. So the rest of this video is just going to be music. If you guys would like to see more content like this, I mean, I'm going to do this series anyway, but if there's anything that you guys want me to add, please be sure that you guys comment it in the section below make sure you guys follow me on all of my socials the link to them will be down in the description and if you guys want to support me as an artist i do have a merch shop on teesprings and i will link that down in the description as well but until next time thank you guys so much for watching and stay safe